What really inspires me of street art is the fact that it is uh, the art uh, of the people. And it's something that, uh, for me, is not just an expression of uh, freedom, but uh, an expression of unity and communication between people of the world from everywhere. Something that was known as a, a, a protest against society now has become pop culture and has become more mainstream. That when I paint a piece around the world, I know that uh, someone at some point uh, will uh, stop from their routine of walking to work and just maybe living a mechanical life and something colorful would catch this person. And in a way I like to think that this can almost reprogram society when we stop and we remember that we are people, that we are not machines, that we are perfect, that we are a work of art ourselves. And we are bombarded with images every day with television and advertisement, wherever we go with our phones, it's always images. So when I thought, why, why would artists be important to this society if we already have so many images in our life? What I came to understand is that because we don't do it uh, for any reason, but that we love doing it. I don't paint a mural because I want to convince you to buy something. I do it because this is inside me and I want to put it outside for you. And uh, when this happens, I think that there is an innocence uh, that sometimes we forget about. And, and to find that innocence back, I think is one of the greatest gifts of street art. Painting on leather was a very, very new experience for me, and I found it absolutely amazing. I've always been fascinated with tattoos, it's one of my big passion. And painting on leather, it was like painting on, on myself in a way. It's something almost uh, mystical about it. I'm painting on something that was alive. I feel deeply honored and, uh, and very almost reverent. While maybe if I paint on a canvas, it's just, it's just a surface, or a wall is just another surface. Leather is precious, and that's something that we're very lucky to have and that we have to do it in a conscious way. And I use this technique creating stains of colors and then I look into the stain of color, it's an, an abstract shape and I kind of um, derive images from it. It's very inspiring for me because I never know what is going to come out. We see the contradiction between the street art and interior design which is very pristine and, uh, and quite sophisticated. I think that uh, every just a position in art uh, is inspiring. Uh, every time you put something completely um, alien to each other, say, it stimulates our intellect and our imagination. Uh, it, it allows us to think in a different way, in a way that otherwise maybe we would not think. When you put the two together, you create this uh, juxtaposed uh, hybrid. And I think it's fantastic. And I think that it will challenge people. I think that it will inspire people, it will make people talk and ask themselves questions and maybe even ask themselves, what is really street art?